With nearly three million residents, Chicago is a bustling, big-shouldered city where it's felt the Summer Olympics would be right at home. We have an opportunity to really showcase Chicago. We know we can deliver a spectacular Olympic and Paralympic Games. Chicago has a lot going for it. The president of the United States is its chief cheerleader. Lake Michigan is its breathtaking backdrop. And many Olympic venues here are already built. No wonder boosters argue that the games and Chicago will be good for each other. We're talking about creating jobs. We're talking about you know all sorts of opportunities for local residents. Now is exactly the time to want to do something like this. Chicago, understandably, is showing its best side to the International Olympic Committee, but there are other less attractive points to be made about this town. <laughs> Chicago has a chronic problem with violence, especially teen violence. And while its murder rate is still only half of Rio de Janeiro's, it is well ahead of Madrid or Tokyo, the other Olympic competitors. 34 public school students were murdered here in the last school year. Four have been killed this month. And just last week came this beating death of a 16-year-old honor student on the south side, murdered apparently because he refused to join a gang. Our president and our mayor and our governor is over in Copenhagen, when right here we got savagery going on in the streets of Chicago. Critics ask how Chicago can even begin to think about hosting a $4.8 billion event when it's currently running a $300 million deficit and has had to close down City Hall for a day just to save money. They question the city's priorities. The state and the city were able to find money for the Olympics, but when it came to actual basic services to make people's lives better, there's nothing to be found. No game! Others are skeptical about a plan to privately finance the games, which could always get more expensive, as many projects around here seem to do. Throw in the Chicago way, uh, which says something between cost overruns, corruption, political connections, I mean, you're just asking for trouble. Still, Los Angeles, Atlanta, and Salt Lake City all staged successful games that made money and benefited their community. Those who would bring the Olympic Games here believe Chicago can do at least as well. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Chicago.